Well, turning now to Olympic coverage, Olympic reporter Andrew Martin joins us live from Tokyo. Andrew, you'll be giving us your thoughts on the opening ceremony. How exciting. Yeah, Andrew, what can people expect during the opening ceremony? We know it will be looking a little bit different than years prior. Ooh, you guys are calling me Olympic reporter. That sounds so fancy. I feel so special being here in Tokyo. You know, I wish that I had the answer to that question, guys, but the truth is, we don't know what to expect. One thing we can tell you is the stadium, which was built in 2019 specifically for this event, is going to be practically empty. It seats 68,000 people. There are going to be 950 people at the opening ceremony, which, of course, you can watch live right here beginning at 7.55 p.m. Pacific. Pacific time, or I'm sorry, 7.55 p.m. Japan time. I'll let you guys figure out what time it is back in the States because I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Friday. It's, I think it's Friday morning for us here. It's still so tough to get used to because we're communicating with people that are 10 hours away, 12 hours away, etc. So I know it's late <laughs> in the evening on Thursday. It's Friday morning here in Japan. Andrew, what are you looking forward to in terms of the Olympic Games? Well, the best part for me is just the stories of aspiration. Inspiration, aspiration, overcoming obstacles, you know, celebrating greatness and triumphs, representing, you know, more than just yourself. You're here for your family. You're here for your state. You're here for your country. And in a sense, I kind of am too. I'm representing stations in the United States to be able to give you guys the eyes and ears, the sights and sounds of what it's like to be here. And so you kind of feel for the athletes who are not going to be able to experience this in front of their families and friends. For some athletes, most athletes, as a matter of fact, this is the pinnacle of their career. Careers. If you're not a basketball player, if you're not a golfer, if you're not somebody that's worth millions, tens of millions of dollars, you're competing for the glory of the competition, and the Olympics is really the pinnacle of your sport. To have to now, for track and field athletes, run in an empty stadium where your families and friends can't be there, it's kind of demoralizing in a sense. Now, you're still an Olympian, obviously, and you still get the chance to compete, but it's not the same connecting with somebody on FaceTime or Skype or Zoom than it would be to go and give them a hug after to your competition. You're absolutely right. It'll be very different. Andrew, thank you so much for talking with us tonight. We'll see you again. And all the action begins tomorrow morning right here on NBC 10. Join us bright and early at 5 a.m. on NBC 10 News today as our morning team counts down to the opening ceremonies. Now, due to the time difference, they're happening pretty early, but our morning team will have full coverage leading up to the big event.